Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Grace and this is a Musings Forum and thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, welcome. Um, here we just speak about life and everything and anything about life and mostly about things that um, are less talked about or things that uh, you might cringe hearing or discussing especially if you hold a certain belief in life of conservative or being conservative and not being liberal i think we already stopped saying today is a hard topic all topics are hard so today again uh we speak about yet another topic and i believe this is going to be part one of that the notes that i have here i've just covered it's just a little bit i know there is more deeper conversations that we need to have in that. I'll just do part one of patriarchy in the society and of course in church and how that has affected us and what I think that has caused or has brought about um, in lives. And now, especially if I'm talking about patriarchy, you know now it will be a balance of two. What men and women, what the patriarchy has done to the woman and the gender and what that means for me at least in my experience and um after this or rather the part two now will bring a guy or will bring a man to have a discussion not really to defend the the gender because there's really nothing to defend it's just about um having balanced views as well as me being very aware that patriarchy does not only affect women, it also affects men, it affects the society, it affects the whole fabric of the society. So let's get right to it. So there is nothing personal really. When I talk about patriarchy, it is not you who invented this social... social. I, I, I would want us to approach these things with objectivity. Like it is not, I'm not saying it is you who is watching me or the men that are living now that caused the the toxicity in it. Some of these things is just the social fabrics that we already found that we never question that I want us to question or I want us to look at or I want us to discuss. I did not say it is you who caused it. And rightfully so, having done sociology in school, I believe there are so, and I was just having a conversation with my friend, there are so many things that we only see on the lens of the one that was sold. It's the same way if I come and sell you a product, you will most likely understand that product or the uptake of that product will be from what the person that sold it to you said. It's the same thing. Some of these things you grow up knowing like, the, you know, those things that you say like, that's how it has been or is it not supposed to be like that or what is wrong with that? It's because mostly if you've lived 30 years, 40 years, 15 years, all your life, that's what you have known. It might not be necessarily the right way or the right thing, you know? So that's why I usually be like, just ease an up. Don't come with um, with swords to fight it. Just take a, a back and reason and ask yourself, huh, okay, is it? I mean, what what's what's there here to be discussed about? What what is she saying? And then after that, you can respond. And then after that, we can have a conversation. We can agree to disagree. I am not here saying stop doing that. And I've always said on my videos, I am not usually here to be like stop that that's wrong don't do that no i am always here to start conversations i'm always here to bring things on board i'm always here as some of you have identified me as um <laughs> not your savior <laughs> some of these things as i'm saying uh, they elicit a lot of emotions and me i'm not scared you know so you can come at me and there are so many people who are timid to talk about it and it's very sad especially things about church and society because I believe we need to be able to speak about these things so there are people who are a bit timid or people most of the testimonies is people who have told me where I asked this question uh, this and this time or I said this and this in a group of people of brethren and I was branded this way or I was admonished or it was not welcome so I, I choose to zip and I feel like that should not be it. We should be able to be able to tolerate in terms of being able to explain what is it that is it that you are doing. I believe in any process of learning, there must be questioning. And if we don't question, there's no learning. 
even in school or whatever it is if you're teaching something there has to be question i need to be able to ask you i don't quite agree with that could you explain to me why up to the time where we we won't take questions <laughs> then how are we able to converse how are you able to understand what <laughs> what's going on you need to even if you don't provide at least understand and allow questions allow discussion allow hard discussion allow things that even for me there are things that by the time by the time i talk about these things i'm usually i've usually wrestled with so many thoughts things discussions and it's it's not easy sometimes sometimes there are things i don't agree with and i'm just like ah, yeah yeah i know that works like that but i don't necessarily agree with that so I think it's the high time as a society, as a society we need to be able to um, we need to be able to come together and reason and be able to allow yourself to be questioned allow yourself to whatever you've believed equal shake a bit eh? so that you're able to understand other people's perspective and we're able to advance you get what I'm saying so let's get right into the video before I ramble all and on again I'll say very controversial things as always is for you to explore them and uh, come back uh, good enough for civil just come back as I'm talking to you see me I'm not I'm not missing no buyer I, I, I'm just talking so I hope you could I just, just come like that don't come coming to beat me up like it's not me also I was just born the other day I also found these things as same as you found them so don't kill yourself defending them let's just talk the same way I'm not killing myself telling you stop you're doing wrong da, 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 da. yeah toxic patriarchy you need to define that what is patriarchy and what is toxic patriarchy patriarchy is a system of society or government where men hold the power and women are largely excluded from it generally that's what patriarchy is so it's a society or community organized on patriarchal lines another thing i want to define or i want to talk about it just that believe in itself that you are just automatically born as a leader just because you are born a man or just because you are born a woman now you can't uh, be a leader or you can't lead things and if you show signs of leading then according to christianity you are a jezebel or i i, I have had discussions of people who don't believe that women should lead even in church I have my reservations and discussions around that and that's not what we are talking about. So I, I will really largely touch on society, leadership in church and in marriages and relationships. I am aware that there are so many weird things that happen in our societies. Like I remember in first year we learned about I think and I need to be corrected here because I've not got back to to research but there are communities especially i think in the kushite um side whereby as long as even if it's a toddler who is a boy who really doesn't know anything about life yet he is superior than the sister than the mother because he's a he's born male he now assumes a, a higher level of leadership or of prestige from the person who first of all who even gave birth to her or people who already have experienced life and would be are adults would necessarily hold uh, more influence and know things in life other than you know you understand what i mean like that's the extent of patriarchy i'm talking about yeah this is the fact that you are born male you definitely ascend to power you ascend to and then even if you are a woman who has studied and that's why you have issues with with women who are assertive that's why we have issues with women who have gone to school because you're just like ah, yeah, yeah because it threatens the very fabric of patriarchy how is it that this woman knows all this or is purporting to know all this or is leading all this or is doing all this because that's how you've grown knowing like a woman shouldn't a woman should always come second so here is my imploration i believe the difference between a man and a woman really i mean you know the answer what's the difference between a man and a woman like what makes you man what makes you woman your genitals and mostly <laughs> the one that we used to pee with so i how is that a basis of how are you gonna place how someone was born 
whether this way peeing this way another one peeing this way how are we gonna base all, everything on that like the fact that you pee like this you are a leader you are born a leader god has bestowed everything on you even though i am very aware that there are men who <laughs> they can't be bothered they don't want to lead you're just giving them pressure they don't they don't want to lead but because they were born male they have to lead now it's even a problem it's not even that they don't wa- want to lead they are just generally don't born with or they haven't developed the leadership skills because i feel leadership is a skill it's not something you're born with i don't think you're born a leader that's my imploration so there is a difference between again this is a very hard discussion that i won't go into gender and sex i be not i believe gender is a social construct you are born either male or female that's your sex okay but gender it's just a construct that's why there are people who are raising themselves gender neutral do you know why i don't want to go to it but i'll just mention um i mention it because again let me read for you what gender is and then now we will see what it, and then you will go and do your own research gender is either of the two sexes that's male or female especially when considered with reference to social and cultural differences uh, and biological ones all right so gender is something that we have invented do you know what we have done with it we have put very i what's the word we have just picked attribute and associated them with gender even though that's not the true representation of that gender let me tell you what i mean by this and this is will help me build on the point i was making earlier that for instance as a man because you are a man and you have seen these things and maybe you've seen this and you've told your daughters or your boys these things from the moment you're born if you are female you're already associated with gender characteristics of a female and these are just characteristics they are not biological you're not born like that let me for instance as a man they basically are born you are supposed to be strong you're supposed to be assertive you're supposed to be a leader you're supposed to show uh leadership skills you're supposed to protect so it's not like you were born like that these are things that have been put on you because you were born a male or female so for instance the stereotype of what is expected of female uh, of women i now have said the men i'll add a little of uh a masculine you're also supposed to be independent you're supposed to be not easily influenced you're supposed to be active you're supposed to be not easily kwanza that one for not easily hurt or not showing any emotion very toxic um you're supposed to be tough all right well as as a feminine gender no sis i'm not saying female it's the gender attributes that have been put on a female you're supposed to be non aggressive you're supposed to be easily influenced dependent submissive <laughs> you're supposed to be passive you're supposed to be home oriented that is where you have issues with women in the office and women who are showing aggression and that's why even as women we are just thrown into a place of a limbo we do not know whether we are supposed to be making our own money or we are supposed to stay at home and that's why we are dying in between because we are just like we don't we are not able to find the balance between working as men as if women shouldn't work and coming at home and being homemaker so we are struggling with that balance because stereotypically you're supposed to stay at home and but now society capitalism we need money go home you're trying to balance staying home and working you know do you see what i mean by this anyway so you're also supposed to be gentle you're supposed to be indecisive you're supposed to be all these things you can go and read for yourself what the gender attributes are and so that's what i'm basing my discussion on if you attribute to christianity i really want you to come and explain to me and I want us to come and discuss about the male leadership because i i know a lot about what it's being taught or rather what religion says what christianity and uh, i'm not sure about other religion because that says a whole aspects of um um uh, male 
being bestowed with the leadership. And I know maybe you already have judged me that I'm questioning the male leadership. Therefore, I'm a Jezebel. It's okay. If you watch up to this far, I just ask you, just, just, just hold on a little bit. Let me finish my point. Don't, don't dismiss me yet. Let me finish it. All right? So I, I, I want you to explain to me how it is that just like that, you're born like that, and then uh, you have leadership skills. Because again, I believe leadership is skills. I believe you cannot just be a leader because you are born a male. Or be not a leader because you are born a female. And the reason why I'm belaboring this is because of the points that I'm going to make next. If, if that's the case, if you explain to me and I buy it or we are able to buy it, then what about how this thing is sold to them? Because I feel like the teaching and how we are teaching our girls and our, uh, our boys in, at home, the men grow up knowing that I am the muscle and that's all. And that's why we have a lot of aggression, even in the society, leave alone the church, even in the society, that's why we have aggression. Like, every man expects every woman to submit to them. You expect to hold authority even though you have no skills, you have no business leading. It's an issue of expecting. You are expecting to be treated like this. The same way, and I am in those shoes because I have had these nuances all along in everywhere I've worked, especially in places where I have been the only woman in the table. It has always been an issue, or we are few of us in the table. It's always been an issue. Like, there's an issue for me to be assertive. Like, if I say things like this, or I point my points like this, there's always an issue. And, and, and I know this is the case for many people. You are not just expected to be there, first of all, and you're not expected to say that. You aren't even expected to ask for that. That's why you have issues with people like Martha Karoa. Like, people have already started asking where is her husband and how did she ascend to power and and many other people that you already know. When you see a woman driving a Range Rover, you have an issue with that. As if a Range Rover is supposed to be driven by only one gender, but that's what we have believed. When you see someone ex 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 expanding in life or making it in life without the help of a man or without being attached to a man, you have an issue with that because you believe that she has been given that and she cannot possibly have worked for it and she cannot have earned that by herself. Uh, as if that, I don't know what's the difference because as you're saying that in the same mouth that you're saying that you are in the same mouth that you're saying uh, women need to get out of their seats and go and work because the, we need to share bills 50-50. We need to be able to work, especially in the state of a relationship or a marriage. But again, when you when the woman gets up and makes the money, then you're like, where is your man? And why have you made that money? You shouldn't. Or you believing that every woman that is has made it is because of uh, sexual... It, it, it's, it's, there are some sexual favors involved. If someone gets a promotion, it's because they slept with the boss or they have sexually worked. You have said all these things about politicians, even though you don't know about anyone in one's life, female politicians and all that. While it is possible that there are people who do that, how are you going to put a whole gender in the same box and raise it like that? And let me now get into that. And this is also, this is where I'll touch both in church and in the society. The issue is how it is sold to us. It is how it is sold to the society because men grow up expecting you expect respect, you expect leadership, you expect uh, submission even to a woman that is not yours. You expect um, that you're sub you expect that the, uh, the stereotype of the feminine, like you expect to, ex to, to, to meet non-aggressive, dependent, easily influenced, submissive women, indecisive, gentle, and, uh, and emotionally gentle. You're, that's what you're expecting to find in the society. And, and, and when you don't find that, when you find actually women who expect exude characteristics that you have been told are supposed to be men you have an issue you find an aggressive an independent and uh, a dominant and active woman um i'm looking at because that's where my nose are a tough woman especially now you have an issue with that because you're supposed no 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 don't be like that it's me who's supposed to be that you you just tone it down i can i can i cannot count the number of times i have been told to tone it down I have, I cannot count the number of times where I've been told as a woman 
you should not do that as a woman it is not expected i have, cannot count the number of times i've been told be a little more gentle uh, it just goes slow on that and, and and don't don't do that i cannot and i know there are so many women who um would say that <sighs> this is a bit it's a bit hard some of these things they even trigger me it's not only you uh, have you ever heard a someone have you ever heard someone advise young people or, or girls or young women getting married or just generally someone telling women we should not emasculate a man and i feel like i, I need to read the meaning of emasculate there are very funny definitions of emasculation here yeah, one of them i did not know exists so I won't read that one, but I will read the one that is will help us in this discussion. See, even my tone has gone down because these are just hard topics to talk about. Anyway, emasculation is that de it's depriving a man of his male role or identity. Another another uh, explanation or another definition of that is make someone or something weaker or less effective. You know, that's the whole issue. That's the whole problem. Because, especially that part of making someone weaker, it is okay for the female gender to be associated with weakness. There's no issue with that. But there's a whole issue when a male... First of all, how do you make someone weaker? If you're so secure in your leadership, if you're so secure in the role, in being a man, how is it that you now have best put that responsibility on someone else to make either, to make you feel a man or not. I believe it's the same thing. If you are the president, you do not, and maybe this is a, a very shallow way of, of explaining, but that's what comes to mind. If you are a president, have you ever seen a president who, like even here, our own president, when he's going to the airport, does he pass through, like if it's a convoy, like people already know the president is passing they give him the power he deserves because he's earned it because he there's legitimacy in that and he doesn't feel emascul emasculated uh when someone comes and says something these are these are he still remains a president the same as the queen or whoever like so but now we have an issue with with i don't really understand maybe someone under, make me understand what emasculation is and i have an issue with it because of what it has done to women what it has done to us, what is has done to the society. You have had people being advised in church, and, and now in marriage conferences and all these things, always make your man feel like he's leading, even though he is not. And in most cases, he is not. You know these things because we live in the same society that I live in. You have had women, I have had women who have, and I have had million stories of women who have, you are literally the provider of that family but you're you're told to not say that it's not like I, I want you to say it but what is this that we have to be second even though we are not the families where women are holding are the sole providers and don't come and tell me oh stand for your man when he does not have a job no those are peculiar issues and I have no issues with that and I'm not saying we should not lord it over because I am the one providing but I have an issue of being told not to talk about it or women being told not to express it because it will emasculate a man. Rightfully so he has he's not doing anything he's not the leader he's not providing what is the issue of us just being okay with that and moving on how is it now we want to suppress the whole function of the female in such a situation just because there is a male there who is not doing anything but we are supposed to cover him have you heard of that thing cover your husband anyway so that's the issue i have uh with, with the emasculation i don't believe that anyone can remove your power from you and that's and it's just uh, just a way of blaming things on women if you are so secure in your manhood then no one can take it away from you i can't possibly deprive you of and so and, and the reason why you think i can is because you don't you associate yourself with the, the things that we said and now if you find a woman who is aggressive who is assertive who is confident then you feel like he's emasculating you you feel like he's taking those attributes from you as if 
they are supposed to be yours alone that's a problem so what this has done to many people is of course it has as we can expect it has brought issues in marriage um but so to support and and men have an ego again if you are a doctor or a psychologist or someone come and explain to me really what is this ego thing that we are supposed to massage we are supposed to uh, at men are born like this i went again thank god for my sociology uh classes in campus i really didn't we we learned about there were three one of them was ego there was let me actually find them i have found it and again it's just a theory that was developed by sigmund freud about personality in 1923 just the other day all right so according to him he saw the psyche structured in three parts and he don't he did not say at the the male uh, psyche or the woman it's the human being psyche so <laughs> it is tripartite meaning there are three so there is the id there is the ego and the super ego and all according to him all these were part of a developing stages of life some point we have the id the other one we have the ego the other one we have the super ego and these are system get me right these are systems they are not parts of the brain or in any way physical but it has been popularized about ego and how a man has a bigger ego and how it has to be massaged and how we have to lower ourselves as women so that the man does not feel threatened and this is the reason why we have reduced our, the, the female gender into always seems seeming less even in situations where they are not less like the one I've mentioned like covering and supporting your man even though women have been told to if you buy a car just register it i have heard all these stories if you buy a car register it under your husband's name because as a woman you can't own a car if you buy land of course you need to inform your husband and i'm not and, and if, anyway if you want to say that it's fine i have not said that you should do things in secret that's not what i'm saying and you know that's not what i'm saying so we we i don't understand do you know even the other day like i think a few years ago this is how these things have been in, engraved in our society just the other day you could not get a passport if you are a woman you either had to bring a man who is your dad or your husband but there was no file in your registry under you because you because of why because of how you pee just that because you are a lesser being because your gender is associated with what we have just read which is toxic of course um buying land just just recently and, and even these things i don't think these are some of the policies that are already are still in parliament you couldn't buy land you can't buy land as a woman i think that has been passed of late but you couldn't buy land because just because you're a woman you're not supposed to own such things you're not supposed to own assets uh, so going back to the issue to the issue of covering we cover our men when they cheat on us you cover your man when he beats you and when they say I cover is you don't talk about him you don't report him because it will be bad for his cv especially if it's a man that holds holds a leadership role in the society uh so women are have been told i have stayed in messy marriages they have continued to be hit continue to be cheated on they have continued to and this is i believe this is why even the rape cases are there because you don't believe that a woman can say no to you because she's supposed to be gentle and accept so if she doesn't accept as a man you feel like what does this think that she can do so you take it because you can and you should so you you take it so we are supposed to just continue massaging them and keeping them in their evil even though if a woman causes us like this if a woman causes us like this i mean look even as instigations even in male leadership in church when a man messes it's usually hush 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 if a woman messes it is usually in the church billboard and you know what i mean by that like there is a bigger fall <laughs> when it is a woman but when it's a man it is not and again you would say oh maybe I'm, I'm i'm it is the truth and you know it is the truth okay even in leadership even now in churches that are led by women and churches that are led by women you know the different cvs of the same 
there's more like there's more publicity on the woman just waiting for her steps how she steps if she does it ah we told you this is so and these people cannot do it but if it's a man is like oh he did that hmm must be the devil or ah what wana koseanga ah it's okay we are we can forgive and all these things and i'm no i'm saying these things are sarcastic because that's how they are been in the society so that's that's the problem of patriarchy whereby like there is a lot of unfairness in even how we interact socially in our social interactions so to conclude part one of this because we, we, this was just a role the, the thing there and then we will do part two possibly what I, what I think is the issue with all these things that we have discussed is number one I do not believe that you are born a leader I don't believe the fact that you are born a male you can you supposed to automatically assume leadership roles leadership in whatever capacity has to be learned there are leadership skills you need to be able to learn them you can be born charismatic I don't refuse the same way you can be born a male chari- with male charisma a female can also be born with charisma but leadership i don't think you can be born a leader therefore it needs to be learned and you need to be able to compare like who is a better leader if it's a female let them assume the leadership if it's a male let them assume the leadership let not put leadership roles because of how we have we are born because whether we are male or female number two is the issue i have about the fact that we have a society that has been structured like that like the patriarchs have to be on top or the patriarch have to assume leadership and sometimes take it by force that has done so much damage on the society in so many subtle ways that we don't know i talked about issues of rape and all that it's because you don't believe that you can be told no like you're telling me no as who well. and that's why we have so many things that are being taken by force women being beaten up uh of course for i don't want to repeat that name again of women sexually sexual assault and many other things that's why we have issues you are you see a woman ascend to power like this you start beating them up you start uh throwing names and like where is your husband go home and be, i mean women belong to the kitchen and you're not supposed to be that because you already believe that these characteristics do not believe cannot be bestowed on a feminine body that's really the issue and i have an issue with that the other thing is holding over you will be surprised how many women i have been told to keep quiet i've been told to turn it down i know i have been told to turn it down and people have questioned me on if that's how i speak to to ben in my life i don't see an issue with 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 speaking however you are able to if you are a talkative man you should be able to be a talkative and 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 this this has brought in the issue of toxic masculinity as well i know you've seen those trends as a man you should it the same way there is a man as a woman you should it there is as a man you should it and some of these things are quite toxic as a man you should not express emotion why as a man you should not cry why uh, emotion is part of human feelings it's not is not male or female emotion is not male or female so you will find so many men dying in depression or not being to able to express themselves and uh, if, if they express themselves then they are not considered man enough these are all issues that stems from toxic patriarchy number 3 is holding it over or whereby there is no dialogue i don't know why why we do not why we fear dialogue so much i believe that if you are so secure in your male leadership in patriarchy itself you should be able to know that discussions are there and people are going to disagree and if someone disagrees with you that's not an issue especially if it's a woman does not mean you are less of a man does not mean you've been emasculated does not mean that now we are doubting your power that that you have no it's just a point of discussion and the fact that there is no dialogue then it means we have a clogged society that never proceeds to anywhere so number 4 is the role of toxic patriarchy especially now kwa kanisa in church and what that means and this one I would want to have a discussion with someone that I believe we can agree to disagree so i mean i believe there is a lot of that there and i, I don't want to go there right now because it's not the discussion but we we'll talk about toxic patriarchy in church and women and men in church and what that means and so we will 
now discuss what kind of <laughs> a religion it is that brings all these disparities. Concluding point, I feel like there is so much damage that patriarchy has done that we cannot finish in one discussion and I don't want to do a one hour video I could, that's why I will do a part two later but it has caused so much pain to us as women, alright that is why we are, now I'll draw I'll draw these ones here and we can discuss them, that's why there is so much even our bodies themselves we cannot fully explore our bodies because they have been shamed there is so much shame in my breasts even though I am breastfeeding my baby, I don't know, there is so much control. So we are controlled on what to do. Uh, as I can't make my own decisions on my own body. A man has to make it. Uh, I can't show my body the way I want. And I can't even breastfeed a baby or... I can't show cleavage because and that's why I'm supposed to even in, in the coast I'm not supposed to wear a bikini I'm supposed to swim like this or in a bikini in a, in a bui bui just because my body will make you fall my body is not a tool women's bodies are not tools but I feel like they are tools right now they are being used as tools to advance patriarchy why do we associate shame with women's bodies a man can walk bare chest, it's fine, and I'm not saying we should be okay, we can walk bare chest, but I don't see an issue why we should, we should not, we should it. People in Trukana do it, they walk like that, have you gone to Trukana? People walk with their breasts outside, and I'm not saying we do that, there are social contexts in everything. I'm just saying we associate, we are so, we have used women's body as tools to advance patriarchy. This is why, um, I mean, our bodies are... They're just tools, honestly. The other, another thing I want to, explain, to ex you to explain to me is this whole issue of men are visual. I just feel like that's a scam. It's just a scam that you tell yourself to just allow yourself to do these things. Yeah? If, 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 if they see... So you want to tell me men are visual, yes? So if you see my legs, now you will want to have sex with me or you will last with me. But in the same, the same breath, huh? you teach self-control. Funny way is your self-control you as a man. So you want to see and take it and see me in your head, all right? So self-control does not apply for you in that case. And also who told you that I can't see you and also last on, on you? So why is it that it... So even your bodies make us fall. It's not our bodies only that make you fall. But patriarchy has taught you that that women's bodies are just tools. I can see, and I said this in, in a previous video, women are sexually um, attracted to men as well uh, for the ones in hetero relationships. So I can see your legs and be like, I want them. The same way you see my legs and you want them. So the, what is the issue? We need to be able to, to be okay with this thing. That's why you will base a whole someone on dressing, which I feel is besides the point. At he, because women are wearing short skirts and now the Saturn entered the choir now that's why women are wearing like that but you, you can come for, for the choir practice with your short and you feel like that's okay or you can wear these muscle shirts that you're wearing we are able to see your your clip, not cleavages, your muscles and all that, that's not that's not an, that's not an issue because we are we, we can't be I'm lazy to angusha, I feel like that's that's messed up I feel like women are as visual as men are and that's not based a whole conversation on dressing and falling and all these things on a woman. That's why even when a woman is, is raped, we always like Ulkumeva nini Did you did you seduce him? That is that is that's that's just messed up. I feel like there are so many small small things that have gone wrong just because of the belief of society of patriarchy like the ones that i've mentioned here so i will end this video here i feel like i'm ending it um abruptly but it's okay because we will do a part two let me know what your experiences are with patriarchy as a woman and also as a man because as i said there are men who wouldn't bother like they don't want to blot it over in fact they don't even want to lead but you have told them you have to they are ones that want this to chill and being gentle 
But if someone, if a man chills and becomes gentle, now he's gay. If a woman is aggressive and all that, now we are fighting. No, we need to be able to learn what gender is and not attribute these things on 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 on, on or a male or a female just because of how they were born and just because of the genitals they were born with. With that, I will end this part one of this video here. If you've watched up to this far, like it or rather put a thumbs a thumbs up on on this video. It helps the channel grow. So thank you so much. Uh, if you've not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button it's just here here somewhere here just hit it. it's free and just share this video and like this video until next time oh good news i said we are posting two videos a week two videos a week every tuesday and thursday every tuesday and thursday thank you for those who sent suggestions by there on my inbox thank you so much uh if you have a topic that we you, you think we should cover uh send it to me until next time, until next Tuesday, thank you so much for watching. I really, 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 really appreciate you for watching. And see you next time. Bye-bye.